So this was the lobby we had. As you can see, stuns. People camping, hiding, stuns. Stuns everywhere. What to do? Can't do shit. And then basically what happened is th this lobby had AIDS, right? I was, I was getting really annoyed. They were using noob tubes. Like, I don't know what it is, man, but this guy had like an IMR with noob tube and like parabolic microphone or something. It was creepy as fuck. But I was just playing with a few mates. See, bang. And it was just really annoying, especially on this map because you can't get away with it. But I actually ended up DNA bombing them, which was, to my surprise, oh, as you see, yeah. I, I just spawn in and he just grenades me with an IMR noob tube because get around him. But yeah, I thought, fuck it. I'm going to upload this just because I DNA bomb some YouTubers and that is like really freaking hard to do. But uh, what I'd like to talk about is YouTube and how I like to have it as a hobby. Now, this is something that come up uh, the other day and it, it's 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 sort of, uh, it, I, I feel it's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, what I like to do with my YouTube is I like to have fun with it. I like to upload videos, just upload gameplays that I think I like to, like I want to rewatch someday. And people, you know, just casually, you know, hop on at night and they want to watch themselves. And uh, the last few days, I've had some really stupid people. Like, uh, the other day, me and my mate Magic were playing, and we DNA bombed this lobby, and then the next game, we were playing, mucking around, running around. And these guys claimed that they were competitive players, and that because they lost the game, we were supposedly shit. We were pub scrubs because... One of my teammates, um, like, not my teammates in Magic, but I mean, like, one of the randoms went, like, 2 and 36. And he's like, you nearly lost the game with a guy going 2 and 36, you suck, blah, blah, blah. So, like, uh, is it just me or uh, people that are sweaty and claim they are CG players, do they do they cry every time they lose or, or what? Does Do people in Call of Duty, do they ever take a loss as in, you know, it's just a loss, or do, or do they actually, do you take that further to the next step, and does it actually hurt you, because for me, when we bet those people the other day, they were hurting, they were butt hurt, man, it's like they got a fucking vibrating deal and shoved up their ass, man, they were, they were fucking butt hurt as fuck, and I don't know if that's like, um, like, is that in, through all the Call of Duties, or just this one, because I know in Ghosts, it, it was sort of really, really good to win, but this game, do you feel like propelled to win or is it just me and I know this sounds weird but when, when I play I don't intentionally go in to win the game I like I like to win but obviously if I know we're winning like or if we have a lead like you know 40 like we do now am I going to jump on flags that much not really but to people like CG players who actually play for the win from the go and they lose uh, can anyone explain to me why they get butt hurt um, and that's one side of the table another side of the table um, we're doing YouTube that I actually like is I actually met a few people the other day and it was really really awesome like they messaged me saying hey I watch your videos um, you know really good work you know keep it up blah 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 they're making funny jokes about my moustache and shit I thought that was fucking mad man I love that shit and they're the people I sort of like to see is people that actually like to watch my stuff I know I'm not the best fucking COD player in the world but it is really really good to know that people still watch and to have good compliments you know um, it, it just surprises me how people that just play the game casually you know, they're the people that actually enjoy watching and going on YouTube and having a look and actually, you know, putting themselves out there and, you, you know, and then you get sweaties, you just cry when they get butt hurt. I, you know, why? Why is that a thing? Someone let me know why. Um, so this was half time. Not going to show the whole gameplay, just the DNA bomb. But, um, yeah, it's just, it, it can be a bit, a, a bit disheartening. So if you do have your own channel and stuff, I wouldn't really get, you know, too worried about if people comment on your videos saying they don't like them or your shit, blah, blah, blah. Because half the time, anyone who comments hate on a person's video, they're either really jealous, they can't get the gameplays themselves, or they're just a cunt and they have no friends and they just sit there violently masturbating over your videos because they are not only jealous, but I'd say chronically mentally ill or basically just retarded. So... No offense to anyone that's retarded, but it, like seriously, it's, it's fucked up. It's really fucked up. But uh, yeah, this gameplay is getting close to the end now. I think I'm going to keep uploading Call of Duty videos. Um, I am actually starting to like the game now, which is really weird because the other day I said I hated it. But now I'm getting into it, you know, slowly but surely. Um, I might do a tip video coming up because there's a few things I did want to point out about this video. And another video on it because... In this Call of Duty, and definitely in the next Call of Duty, I can guarantee that drop shotting and jump shotting is going to be a major thing. Um, 
basically I'm probably going to show you more in depth of the drop shot to start. Um, a lot of people didn't realise, but I um, play on tactical obviously, but people that are wanting to improve at the game, they don't know that, like you don't just go on YouTube and you just find how to get better and they don't show you, you know, what setting to play on, like, that, it's something really simple that I didn't even, like, know myself for ages and ages, like I started in Black Ops 2, I didn't know anything about this until, like, right at the end of Black Ops 2, just starting to get into Ghosts, the drop shotting, uh, was one of the major things on how to improve your game and it was something so simple so bloody goddamn simple and Ever since I learned how to do that it has made me freaking so much better and then jump shotting as well uh, That's takes a little bit more skill to learn I'd say but like I said, I'll show you a proper video. I might even do like a uh, little uh, like how, how do I say it's like a little face cam like I might do a controller cam. Should I do a controller cam? Someone let me know if you want to see like a controller cam and me when I'm playing you can see like me and what I do with my hands and shit That'd actually be pretty cool. I might actually try that. But I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Please like, subscribe and share. Come and smile and welcome. I'll catch you later. Have a good day. Shout out to Hellfire you dirty bastard. I hope you fucking hear this. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Shout out to Hellfire. Everybody comment saying Hellfire. Love him. He's a good bloke. See you later. Have a good day.